I played four consecutive rounds now from the pre queue and you know two of those rounds wouldn't have qualified. But my name's up there on the leaderboard. So it's a frustrating thing, you know, you can you really there's a lot of guys I know, they they played decent golf, you know, they weren't unhappy with their game. You're shooting three, four, five under par and, and you're not getting in. It's frustrating, of course. But um, obviously I was happy with the way I played and uh, you look you gotta just approach it mentally that you're gonna pre you. That was that's just how you gotta go and carry on with the week. So mentally I just accepted that I was gonna pre you and carry it on. And here I am. Someone like Justin Harding, you know, it just speaks volumes for the depth we have in our tour. You know, someone like that who can be so close to being a worldwide winner, um, major contender. You know, obviously he's a hell of a good player, but there's a lot of players like that out here on the tour. And um, I think there's a reason we have so many great golfers throughout the world. It's because the strength of our fields here, they definitely, it speaks volumes. What I drew out of it was that it can be so close. You know, you can look forward, you know, I don't even think he had told Justin a year ago where it would be in a year's time that he would have, you know, he would have obviously felt as possible, but I don't know if he would have really been able to believe where it would be. And that, for me, you know, you got to just keep believing in the process. I believe in myself 100%. I believe that I'm a world-class golfer and can win any tournament in the world. That's what I believe. And you just got to stick to it because it can be that close.